Well, today marks the two year anniversary of a shooting attack that left five officers dead in Dallas. Flags have been lowered to half staff and law enforcement badges from across the country were fastened to a tree outside of Dallas Police Headquarters. That's where hundreds gathered to honor the fallen today. The 2016 police ambush is defined as the deadliest day for U.S. law enforcement since the September 11th attacks. An Army veteran fatally shot four Dallas police officers and one transit officer before authorities killed him using a robot delivered bomb. And law enforcement here in Corpus Christi are also remembering those fallen heroes. And one DPS trooper is reminding us just how dangerous the job of a law enforcement officer can be. Our Madeline Dart has tonight's top story. Michelle, 135 law enforcement officials were reportedly killed in the line of duty in the U.S. just last year. Sergeant Nathan Branley says even though he and his colleagues put their lives on the line every day, the risk is worth the thousands of lives they change. It's a day that sticks out in Sergeant Bradley's mind. Your heart just breaks for not only their families, but their uh, fellow brothers and sisters that they work with on a daily basis. A protest quickly turning fatal, leaving a department, community, and families without five valuable members. Unfortunately, it happens on a daily basis all over the country. DPS Trooper Sergeant Nathan Brandley says although he didn't know the five officers, anytime a law enforcement official is killed in the line of duty, it reminds him of dangers on the job. 2,000, 3,000 times, you know, you've been out there on the side of the road in your career. Think of all those times on the busier days, you know, like what, what is it that keeps me from not being shot at or killed. Yet those are risks Branley is willing to take on if it means saving somebody's life. You do it because you enjoy it, but you know that that's, that's a risk that you, we all take, uh, putting on the uniform, wearing the badge. Corpus Christi residents Teresa Millsaps and Dominic Vargas recall the Dallas shooting while enjoying a day on the Bayfront. Bad time. It hurts me to inside to see that stuff goes down. A day that they say wouldn't be possible without the support and sacrifice from law enforcement. We got to stop it support our police. A lot of people don't understand, but it's the law enforcement that actually gives us a chance to have events like this, actually, because if we had no law, no control, we wouldn't be able to have stuff like this. Brandley adding, regardless of the field or title, they all wear a badge calling them to protect, serve, and support one another, even during the darkest times. No matter if you know them or not, it's your brothers and sisters, and, and even the, your EMS, fires, fighters, we're all first responders. And statistics say Texas actually has the highest amount of law enforcement deaths. Last year, there were 14 officers killed in total, and this year, there have been four in the line of duty in Texas. Michelle. All right, thanks a lot, Maddie. Very tragic statistics there.